you know, structure is around that, you know, so if that's answering the question. <laughs> it is, it is, and it's developing more questions as we go along. <laughs> yeah, um, no, we just wanted to see, we wanted like, um, also I think we wanted fresh ideas. We wanted fresh sounds from some of the new writers. And like, people always ask us about collaborations and I think we always say it's not really about uh you know the name brand person necessarily for us is somebody who is really hungry somebody who's ta really talented wants to work and has a good vibe like we will really work with that person you know what i mean um sometimes you can get a hit from working with somebody like that over no offense to working with a timbaland for you know what i mean three hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars in the studio whatever the case may be so I think it was about getting fresh ideas from writers, producers. I wanted to give people a chance to get excited about something and to, you know, just feed off of each other's energy for this, this project, you know? Mm -hmm. And how can guys get to you if they want to join into the BNL team and share the same, same ideas that you guys are seeking? Well, well, it's, it's, well go ahead, Nai. No, 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 well, no, I was no, going to no. say that they can reach out to us on our um, socials, mm -hmm. you know, the at Nyla Burkhanley's. Nyanda, is Nyanda Brickhandle? I don't know what it is. Nyanda BNL. Nyanda BNL, yes. BNL, correct. Yes. <laughs> um, so you guys can reach out to our socials, you know, and then or email us. Um, right now we're working with Santi Music Group. Mm -hmm. um, Big up Leanna. Santi. <laughs> yes, so they have, have definitely come on. And, um, you know, it's, um, I think right now we're just taking it a day at a time. You know, I know everybody's excited and we are too. You know, but we just kind of want to take it like, you know, we're reintroducing ourselves and we just want to kind of really just focus on proof and, you know, just feel out the vibes. And, you know, of course, I think we're going to probably work on a second single. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, big up Leon in the building. Right. And right. Melinda mm -hmm. is his, 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 um, his partner. His partner. And, um, um, <laughs> yeah, so, but definitely reach out, you know, you can reach out hey, to look them at as well. All right. Look what's on this, all right. <laughs> and That's why right. we're here. <laughs> that's why we're doing this live right now. Anissa, you're too. That's, that's my big daughter in the live. She said, let's get it popping. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> yes, my, go ahead. True. Sorry. Yes. Anyway, so that is it. Um, yeah, I they can else. absolutely yes. reach out to on our socials, you know, and we're open to, you know, uh, you know, people doing like dancers, the dance community. Oh my God, my daughter is. The dance community, come on, come out and do your proof dances, you know. Yes. You want to see it. <laughs> Yes, we're looking for some ideas to go viral for proof. So we're going to need to enlist some of our fans, some of our diehard fans to help us with some of the uh, marketing and this viral, you know, mm -hmm. help us get it popping. <laughs> Hi, Fidge. Fidge is on. Fidge, so let's get it. Oh, I love to see this. I love to see this. We are this. getting it popping, guys. <laughs> That's funny. So these are some of our friends in life causing mischief <laughs> oh, this, oh okay uh same person fidget fletcher is asking breaking and lace working on a new album just say what are you working, working on, on a new, on a new album? album oh my goodness i have always wanted to do a new album like i i think for me to be honest i think it was like i wanted to show everybody that we had more in us and um we i think we did that with the solo and so i think for me yes i would like to i'm kind of putting nyla on the spot <laughs> oh, so. uh, you know i think but... i think in my mind to be honest i think in my mind and i think it's yeah i think it's yeah i mean let's work towards it let's work towards it you know i want to take it single by single you know what i mean um i don't mm -hmm. want to bit off more than i don't want to bit off more that i can chew you know what i mean and you know i know everybody wants an album really? an album takes a it, it's like gonna take a lot i have two young ones yes, so you true. know what i mean okay. like i'm a mom primarily right now you know i don't have big kids i have a two-year-old and a six-year-old so i am mommy first it's demanding you know mm -hmm. it's very demanding so i don't have any 
shame or anything in saying that. I'm a mommy first and my career, my shape line, everything has to work into that world. So whatever we do, you know what I mean? I just had, kind of have to curate it around and build it around that. You know what I mean? Because young, young, the young kids need their mamas. You know what I mean? But totally. as I said, I am definitely open to doing more singles. You know what I mean? I don't think proof is the only thing that's going to come from us. You know, um, let's, yeah, let's, let's see how it plays out, you know. Um, and I think we are living in a singles driven time mm -hmm. where, you know what I mean? And I think, you know, let's, you know, Nanda lives in Florida, Kemar, the campus lives in Florida. We are producers. So that's not a hard thing to go in and create music. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, so let's just, yeah, that's, that's my answer and that's, and I'm sticking to it. Thank you so much. Um, I have follow-up questions actually, because so, both of you are mothers, correct? Yes. Yes. So how did your children inspire you to inspire you through your music and through your creative ventures actually? Oh, how well, that's how the kids inspire us. How do your children inspire you? Oh. Well, I can jump into that one because, well, in, in terms of the music aspect, um, I had my kids when we, when I kind of took a break. So that is, I, you know, I wasn't really recording as much, you know, um, when I had my, my kids. But in terms of, well, I would speak and I have a new shaper line. So that's, I guess I wanted to jump in on that. And, but maybe that can come later. I don't know if Nana, if you wanted to talk about. No, how... the platform is yours. <laughs> the platform is yours. Well, I'm waiting to hear what you put it. Mother, it's it's well, well, I have a new shape. I'm trying to pick back on your answer. Okay. I have a shape. Let me hear what you said. What? I have a shape. Let me hear what you said. I said, let me hear what you say so I can piggyback on it. Well, what I'm going to say <laughs> is more business. Well, okay, well, I have a, fine. I have a new shaper line called Blair Shapewear. And it's really curated for mothers, you know, because I came up with the idea when I was moving and I felt like I could not get rid of that lower pooch area, like the, the kangaroo pouch that we get as mothers. Mm -hmm. And I was giving away, like I was looking in my closet and I was starting to like shed because when you're moving, you don't want to carry a bunch of, things so i had like these cutout dresses and i was like i love them but i just i just i would i would love to wear them but i you know need something to kind of like smooth out that lower area fupa kangaroo pouch to wear it with and that's how i came up with the idea you know it's the first shaper line that can be worn on the cut open dresses mm -hmm. and that's because mm -hmm. i became a mother you know before my belly was flat and about those things <laughs> and if I have to worry about a tupa and lot of things and you know, but just wear the dress and look good. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> but when you have when you have kids, you know, as a mom, you know your stomach kinda of stretches and as active and as you, you can eat right and you, you go to the gym and all of that, that lower area is just sometimes very hard. So in terms of you asked about our creative projects. I think that came to mind. It was not really, it wasn't music related, but I think Nana can chime in on the music. Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh. But I would add, I think when you're writing and you're creating, I think everything in your life, mm -hmm. including mm -hmm. your kids, whatever it is that you're experiencing will go into your music. So that's kind of like a given, you know, as a songwriter, it's like whatever is around you whatever you're living the life that you're living will be brought out into your into your music you know um proof is about a struggle i don't know if nana remembers that you know it's, it's, it's a relationship struggle you know the song proof is about you know um i guess every the, the two people bringing down their walls you know you know you're in a relationship you're butting heads and you kind of have to like who is going to be vulnerable first? Can we mm -hmm. tear down our walls and just, you know, just get to the love, you know, the, the, the love of, ma the, the matter of love then, you know what I mean? And so that was a real thing too, you know, something that I was experiencing in my relationship, um, you know, and wanted to just kind of get back to a place of, you know, love. And I think that was, that was it, you know, and if you listen to the record, it's very more grown and sexy, 
you know, nothing, I would say not really booty shaking, you know, um, just kind of like, I think where we are right now as women. So it sounds grown a hundred percent. Cause this is like an embracive kind of song. It sounds empowering. It sounds, it still has the roots intact, loud and clear, but you guys have like, I don't know how to describe it. Like an, you've evolved as a, in a sound. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Thank you. You guys have gone through your struggles and then it's like you guys, like, it's like you're reconciling at some point. Yeah. After all that it's said and done, it's like, you guys, it's okay. Um, I think it's, um, sorry, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. The floor is yours. No, I was saying, I think, um, like I said earlier on, life is life I think for all of us. And, um, I think it's not like yeah. okay we we found the answer now you know what i mean and um it's it's continuous it's continuous learning continuous growth and continuous setbacks like let's keep it real we're not always just getting better sometimes we go back to bad behavior we have to learn from it again and we really just keep getting up you know what i mean but um i think i was thinking about the mom thing <laughs> to get back to that a little bit i think it's balancing for me um being a mom and then the music and it's like how do i kind of two different sides of myself because i think as women we have different sides of ourselves so now we have mm -hmm. to be conscious that okay but we have daughters kind of watching us so we have to set an example but at the same time i want to be a freak right now you know what i mean so it's like <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like do i suppress this side of myself to and you know what I mean? Or do a great song that just express how I'm feeling now, or I have to think more about, I think it's about, about being mindful now that we have daughters, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, so it's balancing that. And I know even like when you have children and you know, they go on play dates and you know, the, um, your, your, your daughter or whatever, you start to meet the moms too. And then you're also, some of them follow you now on social media and it's like, you, your other mom friends now you're thinking well what did they think of me if i put out this song and i'm, I'm this way at the pca meeting but i'm this way on my social media you know so i think it's things like that right now sometimes like it's you know what I mean? a, yeah it's such you're a, showing it's a yourself sexy act. and stuff it's and then it's like oh, yeah, and <laughs> yeah I, I hear what you're saying and i think just in general women we do have that struggle and i think even if you don't have kids i feel like there is a struggle to feel like you have to be like this over sexualized person you know like you know even on like instagram and sometimes you feel like you don't always want to post like like i'm so tired of seeing a bottom in my face like you know like i you know and i feel like in the music industry too i feel like even if you look at the landscape of what's happening you know the muse the, the women are very over sexualized and it, mm -hmm. it, you kind of feel the pressure like do i have to be like that to be to be doing music and you get a place like well if you have when uh, to add to now this point when you have daughters you kind of have to like put out that thing to say no you don't you kind of have to set the example to be brave and say you don't have to be to do this to to make it or to be accepted or to feel like you know and um i think it's also this very you know and i'm not bashing men but this this pick me you know thing that women have over our heads when it comes to wanting men to find us this and oh i want to be the one that is desired and i think we really have to teach our girls to love themselves you know and choose themselves as opposed to wanting you know i have to teach my daughter that to be, to love yourselves don't look to somebody to give you that love or to validate you mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and i think as mothers yes as especially with well with my son too i have a son and a daughter but mm -hmm. then when it's because we are women and we know what women face it's like we kind of have to like really kind of rein it in and drill it into their heads you know and i have to teach my son to also be respectful you know don't talk to your, your, your sister like that or mm -hmm. you know what i mean like so you really have to be cognizant and it's true you know it's just like it's it's a thin it's a balancing act when it comes to how your daughter see you you know and what you want to portray but i think to thyself be true you know i think to thyself be true and i think at the end of the day that's all you can do <laughs> you know yeah mm, that's a 
100%. Because the only thing that you can do for your kids is your best. Because you never know how you're going to influence them. I'm speaking as an elder sister. I have no kids. Uh, but okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. taking care of those, the ones that you like, love. And you, want, you, have, you have like young guys who are looking up to you. And you're like, I don't want to... I don't want to mess them up mentally, but I also don't want to butcher my image just so I can fit a particular structure that's not meant for me. Correct. You want to you wanna yeah. show you, you wanna show that you're more than just one thing. You're a multitude of things. Exactly. You're right. a whole yes. being as a woman. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, and yeah, we have to definitely teach our daughters that you know um because society doesn't make it puts this heavy burden on women mm -hmm. society does that you know and women don't always want to fall into that box that society has carved out for them <laughs> you know so um it's it's hard to kind of break out and chip away at that box you know it's it's it, it takes time and it takes grooming and unlearning and just um i guess growth mm -hmm. you know and I guess mm. maturity, but yeah, we definitely have to do that with our with our girls. We got into mm. a deeper conversation. <laughs> I like the deep conversations, which is really? really, they remind me of chit chat night when we used to do chit chat. Yes, yeah, chit -chat? Uh, yeah. We had like a YouTube show where we used to get together and just discuss topics, <laughs> like a podcast. Um, yeah, um, kind of like a yeah, at the time podcast. Podcast were I guess podcast just started coming becoming yeah. a thing. But I guess you could say, yeah, like a podcast. Yeah. yeah. How what like okay. Speaking of YouTube, Nayanda. Yes. You <laughs> have, have okay, there's one recent video I saw of you with a multitude of wigs. Oh <laughs> girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to know which ones you kept. I don't know if you had <laughs> Girl, I still have the wig. You know, it's just, I, I still have the wig. But sometimes I look at them, I was like, what the heck was I thinking? I don't know if there's a special lighting in the wig store that just makes them look good when you turn them on there. And then when you go home, you're like, uh-uh, this is not it. But uh, yeah, girl, I, I kept, I kept, I think I have all of them. I think I was trying to like get the tangles out. But the good thing about having a bunch of them is like, you never know when Halloween you might need to use one. Mm hmm so, so i have them for halloween <laughs> oh yeah, my so gosh we're waiting for our podcast, podcast for guys after this. Huh? Huh? Leon <laughs> is asking let's bring the podcast back to life chit chat yes i see that gosh let's that do it nice too <laughs> yeah because uh, girl you guys you... see that thumbs up <laughs> yeah you, i saw that too <laughs> you saw the thumbs up right yes <laughs> I that didn't see it. Is listening. That is crazy. The AI is listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so crazy. <laughs> I, you, no. you see that sometimes. Sometimes I'll be talking to like a friend or a, my mom or somebody. And then I see like balloons coming up in the chats. It is creepy. It is when creepy. you say something like that it agrees with the balloons, like yes. And then the thumbs up came up a while ago. Yes. I said look. Yes. <laughs> like right now. <laughs> oh, oh my god oh, someone. that yeah. must be someone actually sending them on to you because it's the same thing that happens also on um tiktok yeah they're sending some filters on to you so that you can look and just look like look different it's oh. like just a bunch of filters being sent to you because that's how much we love you uh -huh. <laughs> wow yes. yes they respond to your gestures and Aisha's here. That's my bestie. She said it responds to hand gestures. Oh. It's, it's kind oh. of random when it just comes up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm, we are going to, we're running this song over and over on our radio station on Trace, uh, Trace FM. www.traceradio.co.ke And uh, girl, is there anything else that, ladies, I'm not girls, ladies. Is there anything else that you'd love to um, share with the with the world before we end? Why? I feel like we shared it. I feel like, yes, yeah, just, you know, go follow our socials, you know, at Nyla Brick and Lace, N-Y-L-A-B-R-I-C-K-N-L-A-C-E. -E. Go follow Nyando. Now you can give your handles. Yes. And Twitter. 
you know, and just, you know, just get into our world and yes, start playing the song, you know, share the song proof. Um, so we can come to a city near you if you want to see your girls. Okay. Um, yes. I think it's, I think it's a nice one. And I really think we wanted to kind of give the people something that reflects where we are and who we are now as women, you know, and, sure. um, you like yeah. it? You like proof? I love proof because yeah, 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 it shows it shows how much you guys have grown to be honest because as a young girl man, I'm out here wondering how the hell do I move my hips like that how oh. uh, then now as you evolve with character uh, developments and life yeah. um it's like you start maturing you start appreciating more what's going on around you and proof is actually a sound that actually reflects that yes Thank you. Well, yes, yeah. it's about, as Nyla said earlier, it's about reconciliation. I think the world right now needs healing in all mm -hmm. aspects. We're talking, we talk a lot about healing and that's really what the song is. In fact, the first line we're saying, um, take off your armor, you know, show me your heart and I'll show you mine. It's, you know, so it's definitely yeah. about reconciliation. Mm -hmm. But I think Brick and Lace, to really make this happen, first of all, we want to thank you guys because we wouldn't be here without you guys without all the support from you guys all the vlogs all the fans you know what i mean and i think we need that constant support meaning we're gonna need the shares we're gonna need you guys to share it but at least we're not coming with this big like company that's just gonna be able to just like you know what i mean get it to everybody we're gonna need the participation and i'm just not too ashamed to say it like you know what i mean so just like work with us on this one you you know what i mean brick and lace is here and just like spread the word as much as you know you can but we appreciate you guys so much yes. and yeah thank you for having us on trace you know we you know trace has been foundation for bnl totally anyway. and totally. we do appreciate you guys just really just picking up the phone and saying like scheduling the interview like immediately so that means a lot to us you know and um <clears throat> yeah we got it yeah it's an honor it's honestly an honor and a pleasure we'll keep on pushing afro culture and empowering everybody within who's contributing and consuming like guys yeah, enthusiasts to appreciators to pioneers to creators like yo whatever yeah. afro urban ha afro urban culture has to feed onto it mm -hmm. we're there we're it's a there. family so we have to work together you know what it's I a mean? it's a community it's we a can't do this community that's that's what we need to keep remembering that it's definitely a community Mm -hmm. and we have to work together and you need to make it happen number one spot. trace is your number one spot just keep no man the Big, stop trace trace <laughs> I'll you i also have to say we're really happy and proud to see when nan and i were going to africa like when we went from jamaica we were one of the pioneers to go even as american artists to go to africa and just really take over the continent and just bring the music over there and we got to see the difference african artists and the culture and the music and we got to meet you know as i said the different artists from the different countries you know and i'm just really happy and proud to say that african artists and music has just like taken over the world you know and it's just a, it's an amazing thing you guys really came and just That's shut true. down everybody and i'm very proud because you guys are our brothers and sisters like because you did embrace us when really not a lot of people were you know you guys were one of the first people so true to see you guys really branch out and to see the art you know the artists just taking over american radio that's like not a small thing yeah mm -hmm. you know to hear selena gomez doing um on a y100 yeah Rima. like these are major things you know and um so that's a great that's a great thing and i think i think also too I do think proof to was kind of like a, a, a an ode to that. I think that's why you kind of hear the kind of Afrobeats undertone of the, mm -hmm. of the song. And that's why we, we, we chose to go with that because we kind of wanted to bring it back and to, to where we think it, it began, where our career started to really catapult and um, kind of jump into that and say, don't forget, don't forget we were one of the, 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 the first. <laughs> To go over there, never you know what I mean? Days. We may not, you know, we're down there Africans. <laughs> so in terms of having a passport, you know, I know Ghanaians and Jamaicans have that, um, you don't need a visa, you know, you just kind of, anytime you want, come, you come. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Sure. But um, it's the same thing yeah. with Kenya, because I've seen that Jamaica and Kenya, there's no visa requirements. Right. Yeah. Right. So you're welcome. Anytime. Jamaica just come. Just come with your passport. We're coming. Yes. We're coming. We're coming. We're gonna come. <laughs> and when you come, there's a plenty of other artists that you guys can actually come and like oh. bond with, collaborate but, with, because sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The community yeah. grows with, with, with each other. So. Guys, I'm so happy. I'm so honored, and I'm very, we're well, very, very blessed that we can continue feeding and contributing to the culture this way. Yeah, man, uh, we're we're blessed to be a part you. of the community as well. Thank I you like guys you. so much. And with that, guys, this has been Trace Eastern Africa live with the sauce with your host yeah. Saucy May and Rick and Liz. Thanks everybody stream, for stream coming. The line, stream, Thanks, stream the songs. Yes. Stream the proof consistently because the, the song elevates. It elevates your soul, it elevates your spirit. And whenever you're feeling down, just come on. You are proof to yourself. Look in the mirror and say, I'm the one. Amen. You are proof to yourself. Amen. <laughs> Be in church. Amen. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. I'll bid you adieu. Enjoy your day. You okay. too, my you darling. Too. Thank you so much. Love Bye, you guys. guys. Thanks yes. for joining. <laughs> Bye. Bye.